Hey, what's up? It's your main man, Catcher John Side. We are live and direct at Terminal 3. You had mans going across the province. You had mans going across the country. But you know what? I'm going halfway around the world. I'm going to Hawaii. Why? Because I need to speak to the Hawaiian people and find out what's going on with their sports. Because you have surfing, but you also have hula dancing. So let me go check it out. Let me get my supporters down there halfway around the world, baby. It's Catcher John Side, and this is the movement. Follow it. Peace. Hey, I'm Catch John Sai. We are live and direct in Hawaii, and we're in front of Aloha Stadium, where they play the Pro Bowl, or where they used to play the Pro Bowl. But check it out, man. I'm gonna go inside here. I'm gonna interview the local yokels, the Hawaiians, and find out what's going on with their sports. Check it out. Like we always do with this time. I go for mine. I get to shine. Now throw your so I got one of the Hawaiian locals. I got Mr. Landon here, and he plays football. So check it out, Landon. What's the most popular sport in Hawaii? Football, definitely. Really? Yeah. Okay, so have you heard about Canada? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, see, our most popular sport is hockey. Right. But since you guys have the most popular sport, football, what can you tell me about the relationship between Canada and Hawaii with your football game? Um, well, I'm from Hawaii, but I go to school up in Oregon, and we're playing Simon Fraser. So there's a crossover of football in Canada and football in America now. So you'll be playing Simon Fraser University. Simon and when, Fraser when will University. you be coming down? Uh, we'll, they'll be coming down to the Oregon on the 24th of August soon. Okay, so let me ask you one more question. Who do you think is going to win? You guys or Simon Fraser? I'm going to have to give the edge to us. Ooh. And why is that? Um, just because we're a younger team and uh, building up. We played them last year, only lost by a uh, touchdown. So. so Simon Fraser did beat you guys once? She did. They did beat us once, but uh, we're a young team okay, and yeah, looking forward to great things. All right, so you guys say you guys are going to be back on the comeback then? We'll be back on the comeback. All right, Landon, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm enjoying my time in beautiful Hawaii. Good luck on that game. When's that game, actually? It's uh, 24th. 24th of August. August. 24th of August. Check it out. We got my man Landon from Hawaii. He'll be playing at Simon Fraser University down, uh, in, down in Pacific, down Oregon. In, down in Pacific, Oregon. Check it out. Watch out for my man Landon. Thank you. Aloha. And yo, hang 10. Thank yeah. you very much, Landon. I appreciate it. All right. I got my man. What's your name, sir? Cool. Call what? Uh, Don Cole. Call me the Big Cole. Mm. The Big Cahoon. That's it. Okay, how do you spell K-O? It's a K-O. It's like K-O. That's it? That's it. How do you also spell K-O? Oh. K-O. All right, man. It's like Nako. Like K-O Nako. Like Mike Texas punch out Nako. Sure, yeah. All right, man. I can ask you two questions. Okay. Sure. All right, man. My first question. What is the most famous sport in Hawaii? Uh, I think that's surfing, dude. Surfing? You surf? Of course. All right, man. How, how are you on the surfing game? I'm okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give yourself? Uh, 10. 10 out of 10, man. This guy's like the Michael Jordan of surfing. No, you kidding? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let me ask you another question. Who are the most famous athletes in Hawaii? The most well-known uh, athletes? That'd be the, the, the Duke. The Duke? Who's the Duke? Like Duke? Uh, Duke Makahono. Duke Makahono. Think, uh, but you know, I like uh, Lilo and Stitch. That's Lilo and Stitch. Stitch. What do they do? They surf. They surf. Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, on the same board. You should watch it. Yeah? It's cool. Are they, are, is it women or men? Two men. Two men on a board. It's like synchronized surfboarding. Synchronized surfboarding with two men on a board. Right. That sounds very interesting. That's it. Hey, yo, man, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, man. Mr. Don Cope. All right. Take care. See you. You know what I mean? I'm just going to go for my next interview. Well, this guy's a weirdo, man. <laughs> What's the most popular sport in Hawaii? Uh, I say right now, football. Football? Especially high school. High school football is huge. Why? Why is that? Because um, you know how the colleges in Hawaii, uh, in the mainland, yeah. like it's all close and connected, yeah? Okay. And uh, Hawaii got to travel, so football, high school football is the next best thing. You heard it right here, high school football is the next best thing in Hawaii. I just found a fellow Torontonian. What's your name, sir? George. George. Curious George with the Toronto Maple Leafs side representing T. Dot, maybe to the fullest. Let me ask you a question. George, what in your opinion is the most famous, popular Hawaiian sport? Oh. Gotta go with surfing or fishing. Surfing or fishing? Do you do a lot, do you do a lot of fishing down here? I think so. Okay. Marlin stuff, the big queen. I don't know. Are you a surfer yourself? No, I haven't tried yet. Okay, how come? Looking good. Yeah? You nervous? Uh, not really. Yeah. Anxious. Want to go check it out, man? Okay, cool, cool. Let me ask you another question. Who, in your opinion, is the most famous Hawaiian athlete? Oh, they have athletes down here? Got to check the Olympics. Yeah. Um, I don't know, The Rock from here? The Rock? Or Troy Polamalu from the Steelers? I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping at this. <laughs> well, hey, man, just, I mean, 
this is your first time in Hawaii? It is. It is. So it's just a, maybe it could be a guess or just a lucky guess. But in my opinion, I think Curious George is wrong. This is Kaji Down Side. We're live and direct with my fellow Torontonian George. Thank you very much, sir. No problem. Take it easy. Aloha. Aloha. Let me ask you a question. What's Hawaii's most famous sport? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think uh, surfing's pretty popular. Surfing? Yeah. You surfing? A little bit, yeah. Yeah? How's your surfing game on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> it's not bad. Check out the beautiful scenic background. I'm going to continue on my journey in Hawaii to find more about the sports and their popular athletes. Check it out. Uh, we're at Kualu Golf Club where President Barack Obama played golf. And I'm here with... Alec. Alec. And he's going to tell me about what do you know about Hawaiian sports? Absolutely nothing except that uh, NFL Pro Bowl is played here. That's about it. The NFL Pro Bowl. And what are your thoughts on the NFL Pro Bowl, Alec? Uh, personally, I think it's a waste of time because football is a contact sport, and to be to, for, for the game to be competitive, the, both sides have to be want to win. And unfortunately, in the Pro Bowl, uh, the NFC and the AFC they tend to just not be physical, and you can't do that in a non in a, in a physical game. So I came from a plane, I'm on a boat, and I'm walking the streets of Hawaii to find out who in Hawaii is the most famous athlete. Let's go check it out. It's Cash John Side, we're live in Hawaii, right here on the beautiful beach. I got my man, what's your name, sir? Rob. Rob, I got Rob here. And Rob, let me ask you a question. What's up, man? What's the most popular sport in Hawaii? Pretty obvious to I me, mean, you're surrounded by a beautiful ocean. Surfing, man, it's Surf gotta be. Surfing's the pop most popular sport. But why Why is surfing the most popular sport? Um, you know, it's just consistent here. Uh, you know, you, you don't have uh, too many backyard uh, basketball courts, you know. It's kind of a little bit more uh, just a surfing atmosphere. There's always just good waves, non-stop, 365. 365, man. One full year, baby. How many times do you surf? Uh, I try to get about five times a week, something like that. It's easy when you work at a surf stand, you know, just right outside your back door. You got, he's got the hookup, that's what it is. But let me ask you one more question now, my man. Let me say, when it comes to surfing, what would you rate your game on a scale of one to ten? Oh, man. Putting my, myself up against Kelly Slater, probably oh. only about uh, six, maybe. I'll six give myself a little bit over average. Six out of ten is a pass for me. It's a pass for him. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. If you have any uh, words to say back home to Toronto, Canada. Aloha. Aloha. That's what it is. Hang ten, baby. And I got my man. Troy Heinsky. Aloha. Welcome to the islands. Aloha. Welcome to Waikiki Beach, where the culture all began. Surfing began. This was originated. That's what it is. This is what it's all about. Now, let me ask you, Troy. Yeah. What is the most popular sport in Hawaii? Surfing. Surfing is the most popular sport. Surfing, outrigger canoe riding, paddling the canoe or surfing. Anything in the ocean is the most popular sport in Hawaii. That's you you can go diving for fish, snorkeling, swimming, rescuing people in the ocean. That's the most popular sport in the islands. So you guys pretty much spend more time in the water than you guys do in land. Exactly. I love it. It's, it's like paradise in here. Right, let me ask you another question, Troy. Who are the most famous athletes in Hawaii? Duke Anamoku. Duke I've seen the statue. He's a creator inventor of surfing, also won how many gold medals in the Olympics. The only Hawaiian swimmer to win gold medals in the Olympics. Duke Hanamoku, the most famous athlete in Hawaii and all I, over the world. I salute the Duke, because that's all I've been hearing every time I go across this beach. Everyone keeps on mentioning the Duke. The Duke must be a legend. He's a legend. Yeah, without Uncle Duke, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing now. Yes. My pops, my father was doing this in the 50s before I was born. Wow. Before my pops was doing it, Duke Anamoku was the first beach boy in Waikiki. The first one to teach people how to surf and have a good time. He's an ambassador of Aloha, ambassador of Aloha. In Hawaii, we're born and raised and taught the right way. It's not about money, it's about taking, taking care of people from all over the world and showing what the true Aloha spirit is really all about. Yeah, it's not about the kala. Kala means money in Hawaiian, and one of my verses in my music goes, it's not about the kala, it's all about aloha. Straight from the pool vai, not the pockets brought us. Pool vai is the heart, pockets is where the money goes. We don't need that. The pool vai carry on aloha spirit from Uncle Duke. He passed it down to us, and now we perpetuate the culture and carry on the, the, the tradition 
of local style Hawaiian surfing and spreading the law to people from all over the world. Troy, that was so deep. I love that, man. Honestly, straight culture. Oh, wow. Straight this is culture. like, this is huge. Troy's gonna kick it with a little freestyle, no beat, straight acapella, baby. Kick it, Troy. We all ohana, so relax and enjoy. High skis on the mic, this is no go oi, so get a boy. And I and I, one time, yo, listen to the bass, I rock a rap race rhymes. How you living? I hope you locals be chilling. Cause one thing I know, the whole mainland's killing. Dig it, dealing. Killing gangs all over the place, they the last damn people respect the wine race. So come on, come on, stand proud and tall. And like the mainland, we will never fall. You gotta learn to live, cause locals love to give you a peace and a low. I'm proud to be a native. Here's the legend right here. Shout out to Troy. Thank you so much, Troy. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It might be too. Come on, man. <laughs> and I can see it with my